In this short video I'll be explaining one possible solution for the SFX100 motion platform problem of the Arduino base controller dropping out or crashing randomly. Once the Arduino crashes it loses connection with SIM feedback, the driver software. The platform powers down and returns to the rest position. SIM feedback is unaware that anything is wrong and continues sending position information to the Arduino. In this state, if you press the stop button in SIM feedback, it will try and disconnect from the Arduino, but it will fail and will loop there trying endlessly to disconnect, waiting for a response from the now unresponsive Arduino. The only way to recover from this situation is to close SIM feedback from the taskbar or task manager. The problem is caused by electromagnetic interference, EMI also called radio frequency interference. It's a disturbance generated in this case by the servo motors and the servo controllers that affects the sensitive low voltage components of the Arduino controller through electromagnetic induction. Some builders have successfully reduced or solved this issue by wrapping cloth conducting tape around both the servo position and power leads. Another solution is to shield the Arduino in a grounded metal box, in other words, put it in a Faraday cage. In my case, I found that by moving the Arduino about 800mm away from both the controllers and servos, it's completely eliminated the dropouts. The 800mm limit is simply how far the USB cable I'm using can reach. I'll shortly be getting a longer shielded USB cable and make this solution more permanent. But for the moment I'm simply going to use it in this configuration and see if the solution is dependable. Well, I hope that helps you. Bye for now.